Okay, so this is your update on Bitcoin and Ethereum on you know the afternoon of February 25th. So we've got about three days left till the monthly candle closes and we have March beginning. Um, and so the first thing that I will point out is we are about halfway through the cycle. So day 32 in what is usually a 60 day cycle. We'll start with Ether here. Um, our top was on day 17. So we are setting up for a left translated daily cycle, which is to say it spends more time going down than it does higher. That That is if we can't break above this high here at 32.84, right? Because if we spend, if we spend the next, you know, the rest of the cycle, the next, uh, you know, 30 days essentially going lower, then we would have spent, you know, 43 days or so going lower out of a 60 day cycle. And so that key level breaking 3284 would tell you that this cycle is now taking on a bullish tone. And that, I mean, that would be a pretty nice move from here if we think about it in percentage terms, like even from where we are right now, that's a nice little 19% move, which is nothing in crypto. So if you also look at the weekly chart, um, that is setting up for a, a, a uh, higher low on the weekly chart. So another swing low, that would be a higher low. So if we zoom in on this, right? So we have our swing low from week 31 and it looked like it was going to fail, right? We had a follow through that looked great. And then we had this bearish candle, bearish follow through. And at, at, at one point, this candle was bright red, right? It looked like we were going to fail, go below this low. And we've obviously rallied. That's what this lower wick is. That's why we're now a green hammer, right? We went from bright red to a green hammer. And now you imagine this candle closes in two days. If we don't collapse in these next two days, we're setting up for another weekly swing low. Uh, right. And so this level would be your 3284 level, which would kind of tell you, you know, maybe we are going to actually make a run back to that 4000 and see if we can have that run to all time highs. Now, if you look at uh, Bitcoin, very, very similar. Uh, I mean, essentially identical chart. We were deep red, almost broke this swing low, but did not. Now we have a real chance here. Um, it's really just a question of do we see follow through over the next two days? And finally, if you think about the monthly charts, really important. So we're going to have an inside month, right? It's actually going to be an inside inside month because February, if I zoom in on Ether first, February has been an inside month. I mean, in fact, a doji, right? And so we still have two days to go. We're probably not going to make a new low here. Derf, I, I think we're almost certainly not going to make a new high above 3,900. So we likely open March inside february which is already inside january which is a down month after the um after uh you know your first red month in december and so we may not get a resolution until april right like imagine we kind of churn around here in march and then we finally get a resolution higher in april well you know higher or lower it, it could kind of go either way and bitcoin is this very same thing all this wick means we're definitely going to have an inside month, right? There's no way March can't be an inside month with all this upper wick and all this lower wick. And so we may be in for a lot more chop to, I'm, I'm, I suspect, lower until we maybe get a res our resolution in April. I mean, we'll have to see. There, obviously, it could start inside and then break to the upside or break to the downside as well. But it's, it's important to be aware of your levels and that you're essentially still somewhat in the chop zone at the, at you know, bearish at, at uh, worst, chop zone at best. So very important to see how these next two days close out and how March starts.